today I'm climbing with uh, Anton and Isaac again. We have Tom Boyden behind the camera mm. doing live commentary, right Tom? <laughs> yeah. It's oh, been it's a like while. Magnus is going for the horcrux of the movement. <laughs> horcrux of the movement. <laughs> it's been a while. The last video you commented on, I think it was the Ninja Warrior one. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, been yeah. a bit, yeah. So, all right, we're a little bit warm. Anton has his rental shoes again. Uh, they're way too tight, but... What can you do? Okay, Isaac's climbing. I am climbing. Yeah. Cool, Isaac. <laughs> you look like uh, you, you could be in a band. I might be. Are you in a band? No, I am not in a band. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you could be. <laughs> uh, grass and my uh, body weight. You, you, We're what? comparing my how much more muscular my feet are than his, man. Oh, yeah. He needs to put a little bit of mass on his foot. Yeah, skinny feet. Skinny feet, yeah. Could the comment section mention how Anton's feet are so skinny that it makes his other body parts look smaller? All right, man. Just what are you doing? Purple V7, start on that. Okay. We already did one video here, so we don't have that many bowlers left. I did the only V10 in this gym, but I think there are still some V9s so that we can try. Okay. Does it feel nicer falling down without the weight vest? So how much weight was it again? Uh, it was about eight, 73 pounds, I think, something like yeah. that. If you haven't watched that, that's on Tom and Juju's channel. Yeah. Afterwards, we're gonna try this. And look. <laughs> I cheated on it. You man. cheated on it. I did There's make, I so made, much friction on this I now. made it really sticky for everybody, so. Hey. We're gonna set some uh, world records tonight, I think. <laughs> well, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Like your hand just feels like sandpaper <laughs> right now. Yeah, dude, I, crazy. I did a little special magic on that <laughs> yeah, thing. Tom, yeah. I don't know what you did. I'll chalk it up nice, too, yeah. Hey. Isaac's gonna beat his record, hey. definitely. Anton, you wanna demonstrate the red one, the dino? Yeah, sure. Okay, so Anton is really good at uh, dinoing. I guess it's really good at Ninja Warrior stuff, but that's a lot of dynamic movement. Nice. So for you, the upper part is the hardest part, right? Yeah, the foot, the feet. Yeah. On the for what was I telling you about? For everyone yeah. else, it's the first jump. That's the hardest part, but not for Anton. Yay. The feet. I'll one? try the V9. Yeah. The yeah? Black V9. Okay. <laughs> just try to get the chalk. You see? The, the just side. the chalk. The purpose is to brush the chalk off, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. It's fun, man. Yeah. yeah. Can I do that more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah just the... do it to the point where it's not perverted, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a black V9. What's the Horcrux? I don't know. I don't know if I'll go up to this guy before grabbing this, or if I cross and match and then come down to it. Okay. So I don't really have the sequence. Folks, he doesn't have a beta. <laughs> Dude, I know it's climbing terms so good. Definitely didn't look super easy for you, like most things. Yeah. You can see that when the like I'm shaking a little bit, then yeah, means I'm trying hard. <laughs> and uh, to get the film. What is he doing? What is he's doing? trying before we even get. To, we don't even get yeah. to film him. Anton, it doesn't count him. if you don't film it. Remember? Oh, sorry. Yeah. In Russia, you have dash cams. Okay, it doesn't work here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what a dash cam is, dude. Your freaking five year old sister's got a dash cam. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right. You doing anything? Okay, fuck, let's get you Magnus has a different definition for the word try than some of us.
them hips up there, brother. Yeah. Come on, Enzo. Come on, Enzo. Come on, come on. Yeah! Yeah, easy. Come on. Oh, you're in a good spot now. Okay, what's next? Yeah, now you've got the down to this. Then you get your right foot or right hand where your left foot was. Yeah. And then go again two times. Yeah, come on. Oh, look at that. Go again, go again first before putting the heel. Go again left hand. Yeah. Do you want me to take it for you a little bit? Do you want? Because I can film your reaction too. Do you want me to well, film your reaction? Your camera. Everyone this wants my... to film Tom's reaction right <laughs> yeah, now. Don't touch me. This is my camera now. It's my, it's my YouTube. It's Magnus and Tom now, isn't it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want your camera back, you gotta change the channel name, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Actually, I saw some comments about that. People making fun of that. <laughs> saying, saying, I, saying that I should... Next, next thing, the, the the channel will be called uh, Tom and Magnus. <laughs> yep. I'm just slowly monopolizing so, yeah. the YouTube channels. Take, take, I mean, I filmed for Thor once, so yeah. it's Thor and Tom. <laughs> looking at, dude. I'm looking at the orange. I think it looks really hard for a V9. From this one, you have to go all the way up to this. It's oh. like hardly anything here. And then from this, you just have to squeeze. So you use your uh, your your tits to squeeze. We call them taters here, Magnus. Taters, taters. taters. not tits. Taters. taters. Okay. I just forgot how much yeah. bench press. Bench press? Yeah. That takes a lot of chest. He benched 225. Did he? Yeah, yeah. Wait, were, was I there? Yes, you were. That's a lot. No, no way. No, no, no. no. Magnus? It's yeah. so what you call a dry fire when you just fire off without any notice. A dry fire? Yeah. Dry firing off faults. Usually that happens when it's like too dry because then okay. you can't really feel when you're about to fire off something. It's like shooting dry? Probably. That's where it comes from, yeah. Okay. Interesting. So next time you're not going to dry fire, right? Nope. You got soup over there, Nick? Yeah. Hot cocoa. You got hot cocoa? Nice. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get the marshmallows. That's cool. Freeze it... your marshmallows. Ooh. If you freeze them, when you put them in the hot cocoa, they won't melt. Expert tip. Whoa, dude. We got better <laughs> Betty Crocker over here, dude. Oh, Tough V9. Yeah, that's tough V9. You just have to get it all the way in. There's like a lip, but it's really far in, so to go deep. I know you can go deep, Magnus. <laughs> uh, was this harder than the V10 that's here? No, but about the same, probably. All right, so, Anton's doing a uh, V7? Yeah, you start uh, like this. Oh, yeah. yeah. I actually did this one to start with. Come on, man. Can you start it? You wanted I say on the camera that no, no. I feel heavy and weak today. Do you wanna no, try something? Uh, I want to try this V7 that I've done before, but... <laughs> you want to do an easy one? No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, try something I, hard. I try, I try to do like Dino from this yellow V6. Let's try to figure out if it's work. It probably won't work because the top is not very good. <laughs> I'm gonna break this too. So when was the last time you climbed, Tom? Last time you were here. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> no, not even then. We didn't climb then. No, uh, January, uh, February, January? Yeah. I should have climbed when I was lower body weight. Yeah. But I just, we always have so many things going on, I didn't, yeah, I know. didn't go through my mind. Because a couple of months ago you were 160, 65? Yeah, yeah. so like, uh, what, 70, 75 Seven, kilo? Yeah, and now you're 185? Yeah. 
big difference. I'm trying to get huge, Magnus. Yeah, you're already looking pretty big. Oh, thanks. It's working. <laughs> I, ch I traded the channel rights for Magnus <laughs> to say I look huge. All right, Magnus, I find it. difficult yeah no you know what i think the problem was i wasn't sure the shirt must come off oh well magnus uh, before you take that shirt off let me go look at come this board here. Let me, oh, let's take a look at the comment board magnus let's take a look at the comment board here okay comment board from inner peaks south end too many shirtless, too many bros. shirtless bros dude let me see where one is right here dude Local decency ordinance are different in America than Norway. Norway. Okay. Stop allowing shirtless climbers. There's a big arrow that points down to it, too, man. Yeah. They're clickbaiting that because they're trying to bring attention to it. So. Well, sure you can it has do to it. Go back on. No, you can do it. You know, just you, think? you know, Yeah. I, I just think you're losing the respect of everyone around you, but you could do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's totally fine. I don't want to lose my respect. Oh yeah, yeah. You've never lost your respect before. <laughs> yeah. Not on national television when you crowned uh, up that troll thing. <laughs> Wait a minute, no, Magnus, I didn't mean that, dude. You can put your shirt off. Magnus, uh, not shirtless, because we shamed him. I shamed him. He's allowed to? Okay, we've we've been given the go-ahead by inner peace. <laughs> can you remove your shirt in the middle of a rock climbing crowd? Please let me. You did it. Yeah. See? Hey. Hey, the shirt? doesn't need to come off, man. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. It's a mental thing, and you didn't need it. <laughs> but you were just allowed to have it off. Yeah. You earned it. <laughs> yeah. that's the, that's the, uh, you can do that route, you can do a shirt. Yeah, it's yeah. like climbing with a weight vest, kind of. Well, there's a lot of funny word on the fridge. I'm there's a lot, a lot of funny sentences. I made power drink. I did that. Power ah! I lost power. <laughs> I lost power. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, this is my new gym. We just moved in less than a week ago. Thank you for. You're the first person that's come and visited, man. Oh, really? It's, yeah, it's first a new guest place. in the new gym? Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Nice. It's uh, not a rock climbing gym. <laughs> no, it's not a rock climbing gym, but it's a pretty cool gym. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be really cool. Thanks for having me on your channel, by yeah. the way. Thank you guys. Uh, of course. Magnus is great and <laughs> appreciate you guys watching. But uh, what, were we, what were we showing you today? Today, you're going to show us how to train rock climbing in a normal gym. I mean, this is not a normal gym, but okay. uh, with weights and stuff. Like, what do you think climbers should uh, train? I don't know, to become better at climbing, but also to be more all-rounded, maybe? Sure. Okay, yeah. I have an idea. I have an idea for you okay. guys. Uh, the best I've done is a V5. Mm. And I've maybe rock climb maybe four times, less than ten times. Um, I'm not good at it. If you watch our videos, I complain about having tendonitis and arm problems a lot. You know, I'm heavier, but I think there's some things that I have a background of doing that mm. has actually given me. I'm not bad for a 232 pound guy, in right. my opinion. I think my weakness is problem solving routes and stuff, which is amazing watching you do that. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> some of the things you guys like. Wow, I would have never figured that one out. But there's some things that, th coming from an outsider's perspective and coming from a perspective of uh, having a different strength training background, uh, mm. these are some of the things I think maybe rock climbers yeah. uh, can do that they're not doing that can Because uh, you're definitely more than a bodybuilder too. Yeah, I do a lot of things. You do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of things. How many exercises do you have planned? I got a bunch of them, but we're gonna group them together. I'm gonna start mm. you off with some flexibility exercises. Oh. Because uh, some of the things that I have an advantage of on the wall, mm -hmm. uh, when I get up on a wall, is I can feel the flexibility I've built coming into play. Okay. So I'm gonna show you two stretches that I think will help you out. I'll show you three. One that you guys should do to help you prevent injuries as well. Uh, I've probably shown so many people this stretch, but hey, maybe if you haven't seen it, what is this? All right, I'm stretching the hips here. Yeah, the hips. Stretching the hamstrings and all this stuff here. The best stretch, just to hit all that, is just a warrior lunge. Yeah. You just spend your time here, your shoulder width apart so you have a base, base of support. Your knee goes over your toe. You can also put your knee behind your heel so you can do both. Okay. Mm. But one of the things you can also do is reach and go over your other shoulder so you get this 
stretch here. This is a very Isn't that like a I think I've seen that post as a bodybuilding post. This one? Yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah from the from behind. Yeah. It looks pretty good. It's a good way of showing off things. Yeah. But uh, this is a very comprehensive stretch. You can kind of move in and out of ranges of motion. And I think this stretch is really good for helping you put your feet in places on a on a bouldering wall yeah. that maybe you uh, can't and could find uh, a way to make the route even better, you know. Yeah. New ways to solve uh, the same problem. And you uh, are very flexible. I've seen you do the splits and everything. Mm -hmm. I can do the splits. Um, the guy that did the chair splits with the, holding the weights overhead uh, five years ago. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm very flexible. I've been flexible for a long time. Mm. So this is a good, do you, do you ever do the stretch magnus? Mm, not, not that one, but the one you did earlier. That this one? one I, I've done a lot. Yeah, that's a good stretch. You yeah. can do that too. It's, it's really very really similar. Like Look how similar it is in, in position. Yeah. Only your torso's down. Try it on the floor though. Okay. Uh, yeah, wide, widen your, your feet a little bit. Like, sh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like this? Take your, or this way? More like that, yeah. Yeah. You feel it, don't you? Yeah. You don't look, look very like comfortable right now. No, I'm not very comfortable. <laughs> right now. now you can keep your torso high, put your arms up. Now I want you to twist towards your right. There you go. So you're gonna stretch this part too? Yes, exactly, and drop your right hand down. There you, there you go. See, there's a lot of different variations, and yeah, you Fantastic. see how you're rocking kind of into it intuitively? Uh, if you do that gently, that's a good thing. If you do that too hard, then you're going to hurt yourself. But yeah, this is a good stretch. You should just do this, uh, if you're a rock climber and you want to see what mobility can do for you and how it feels, just do some of the stretching before you uh, get on the wall. Yeah. I'll show you one more stretch. Cool. Do you start or end with stretching? Mm. I stretch by itself. Nowadays, mm. I'll focus on stretching by itself. I don't usually put it in a in a warm up or cool down as much as I used to mm -hmm. because the flexibility is so high now that I don't need to yep. stretch. But there's one stretch I do do before pretty much every workout, no matter what I do, and this is called a thoracic extension. So you get a PVC pipe. If I, if I was stranded on a deserted island <laughs> and I could only eat one upper body stretch for the rest of my life, this would be it. Okay, the stretch just it does everything. And there's nothing else that really emulates it as well as it does. Because when you have this and you stick your upper back on it, there's really nothing else that you can emulate to make the stretch happen because you have something that's pressing you in a position that you can't get into by yourself without the assistance of the object. So this is why you take this PVC pipe, put your arms up, wrap them, neck forward, feet flat on the ground, butt on the ground, and you just kind of stretch your back. So, a lot of rock climbers, I've noticed, are kind of like, yeah, they're kind of rounded forward like this. And so this will help open up and protect uh, your shoulders and your lower back huh. from uh, accident. And it's just a good balancer. And for powerlifting, bodybuilding, pretty much anything therapeutic wise, this stretch is a major, major injury preventer. So hmm. I, I love it and not enough people really value it. <laughs> Where do you get that pipe? Is it important that it's exactly like that? <laughs> I just took tape and wrapped it so it's a little more grippy, yeah. but I just got this pipe from a hardware store. Oh, it's nice. $3, you can buy it from any hardware store. These are like plumbing pipes. Because huh. in rock climbing you've pulled down a lot, but you don't really push up. And that's why you get that, like your, your uh, shoulders are like... Right, your shoulders. So I would say from, <laughs> from, uh, from just analyzing your physique, mm. Magnus, uh, you have a really good looking physique. You know, if I, okay. if, you, if I didn't know what sport you did, all I knew is that you probably trained or something, you know. Yeah. But your shoulders are your weakest like body part. Mm. Uh, it's what's lacking size the most. If and I entered a body, bodybuilding competition, I would have to work on my shoulders. You would have to enter a physique competition yeah. because you don't work your legs. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, okay, that's the difference between a physique, men's physique. And yeah, they don't judge the legs. That's why they wear oh, the board okay. shorts. okay, I didn't know mm -hmm. that. Yeah, so this stretch kind of opens you up, but also your rear delts aren't, you're not really getting that stimulated. So if you train your rear delts, that's the biggest part of your shoulder. That's a, a big misconception a lot of people have about building shoulders is that they, they focus a lot on pressing and mm -hmm. stuff like that, which we're gonna get to in a second, by the way. But the biggest part of your shoulder is actually the back of it. And you can build some of that through pulling movements, but if you train it directly, that's gonna protect you from injury. Yeah. And it's gonna kind of pull 
you back so that you're not so like this all the time mm -hmm. as a rock climber. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> that's and exactly how you are as yeah. a rock climber, actually. So I got three exercises for you. You're gonna run through them real quick. Yep. We got a... If you have this machine, this is the best option you have if you have access to any sort of strength training equipment. Pretty much any like normal fitness gym has this machine, right? Every normal fitness gym is gonna have this machine. It's a pec fly. You just move the handles back so that you sit facing it. Let me just do this, all right? And you have to do a lot of reps. So like set, like I, was, I would say like a couple sets of like 15 to 25 and then maybe one monster drop set. Just get a huge pump okay. in your rear delts. That's the best way to work them. It's basically it. This is the best one. Now there's two other options you guys have if you don't have this machine. A lot of you guys just work out in rock climbing gyms, right? And do, uh, do rock climbing gyms often have dumbbells? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is, this is actually my least favorite. I don't do this one but it does work. I don't do this one because I have that machine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I found other ways of working rear delts. You just lean forward and you just do this. And you'd also do it leaning on an incline bench if you have one of those, but you'll feel it. Yeah. You'll feel it in your rear delts. And then the last option you have, which is, uh, I think anyone could do this one. This is one of my favorites, by the way. This is really good. You just need a strap and maybe like a carabiner. Rock climbers have carabiners, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're Not boulders, maybe. But. Boulders, yeah. You gotta <laughs> lean back and just pull forward like this. Okay, so you can do that with like slings. Yeah. Because a lot of climbing gyms have slings. Mm hmm. And you only have to do like 10 or 12 reps of this if you wanna make it harder. You just shift your feet forward more so that you're leaning back more and changes the leverages so they're more disadvantageous. Yeah. And yeah, those are three good rear delt exercises. Magnus, have you ever done a military press? Yeah, I don't think this exercise is going to really help your rock climbing, mm. but if you just want to round out your physique as a rock climber, because antagonist, antagonist, yeah, this is going to make your shoulders. This is how I built my shoulders. Or this is the exercise that built my shoulders. And if that's what rock climbers are lacking most in development, then just throwing this exercise in your routine for vanity purposes will go a long way. You don't want to be like out here. You want it kind of like directly right over the center of your body. So you're leaning back. And you're gonna really contract your butt, your glutes. You're gonna kind of press those forward like this while keeping your back stable. Cause that's gonna protect your back. You're activating your glutes. When you press, you press up. And then right when you get it here, you push your head forward. So it's basically a military press. And you can just load some weights on the bar and you know, yeah. do, do a couple warm up sets and then do about three working sets of, you know, five to 10 reps and shoulders will blow up. Five to 10 reps, that's what you should aim for. Yeah, I, I think that's a good range. You can do a lot with those. Yeah. So you want to go ahead and flex your butt, like you're pinching a coin between your butt cheeks. Yeah. And uh, then you want to lean back, your, lean your upper back a bit more because you, you want the bar to be more over the center. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Now engage your lats so that you're protecting yourself. Now, when you start to press it up, go ahead and start pressing it up. Now push your head forward, pull it down. All right, now push up, now head butt, all right? Head yeah. butt, so you like really go. Yeah, don't do it too fast because I've actually head butted the bar before. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like you're transitioning from pressing it from that position to almost like you're pressing it behind you. You see what I'm saying? Like the bar has been behind you. Yeah because you're stronger with it a little bit more behind you, but you have to get it there. And to do that, you just push your head forward. I would not do that before you rock climb. No, but it's good uh, It's good antagonist training for sure. Yeah. Because rock climbers tend to, the shoulder is coming in like this. Yeah. You kind of look like a, like a monkey. Mm -hmm. Like this. Yeah. No, I don't think it's healthy. No. Over it's... time, it's not healthy, I think. No. You wanna, I don't know, improve your posture. And yeah. this is one of the ways to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but you got the rear delts, that'll blow you up too, and that'll help balance you out, make you healthy. You got your uh, flexibility exercises. But there's one more thing you guys are, uh, I think is not very healthy that you guys do a lot of, is mm. those damn shoes you wear, just scrunch your toes <laughs> up. You just like sit there and just wring the life out of them. So I'm gonna show you something that you should do uh, just for your health and for like the rest of the time that you live outside of a rock climbing gym. So I would usually use like a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball or something or a golf ball, but just take off your shoes. All right, take off your rock climbing shoes every now and again. 
because a lot of you guys will spend six hours in the gym just staring at the wall and just trying stuff all day long. If you leave your shoes, if you leave those shoes on for that long, your your toes are going to look like my dad's, and his feet look really <laughs> bad. So, because he's an ultra marathon runner and he wears running oh, shoes really? all the wow. time, yeah, and his feet are just like, ugh. So he so, does this exercise. No, he doesn't. He, he should. doesn't. He, he should. should. It's too late for him. He's, he's oh. 67 years old. There's no. It's too, <laughs> too late for him. He's lost his time. But just take off your shoes and just grab your toes and you just want to spread them, just with your hands. All right. So you're just kind of playing with your toes. Uh, have I cut my toenails? Yeah, they need a little trim, but they're not too bad, right? So you just kind of spread your toes. But here's one thing you can do: take your fingers. Oh, you're gonna. I freaking hate this, Magnus. Oh yeah? I wanna, I wanna see you do this. Okay. I wanna see you do this stretch. I have really gross toes though. Yeah. <laughs> you take <laughs> off your shoes more often. Yeah. Stick your knuckles in and grab. Oh! Oh man. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That crap hurts. And you can kind of like squeeze your knuckles yeah. uh, of your hand with your toes and you can squeeze your toes with your hand. Now watch, watch what happens here after I do that for just a second. Look at, look at the difference between my feet, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, see that spacing? Yeah. It's a little bit better in this foot. It's actually a way to train it. I mean, there's they sell products for that actually called yoga toes that aren't too bad. Where you just wear them oh, right. like passively yeah. in the evening or something. It just stretches your toes. But also the the you get these the bottom of your foot, the fascia, the plantar fascia down here. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it gets real kind of stuck and bound. So. Uh, one way to loosen it up is just get like a ball or a pipe or something and just stand on it. Make sure you're supporting yourself, but it just kind of, it hurts like hell. It really hurts. Um, but just kind of roll it. I would recommend just uh, maybe one minute a day per foot. And you're gonna get a, a large therapeutic value out of that. And again, I'm recommending some things for you guys that are gonna uh, like extend your li <laughs> lifespan. <laughs> You know, uh, outside of rock climbing and kind of help prevent injuries in rock climbing, I haven't really given you anything that's actually going to like strength train, like strengthen your rock climbing because yeah. I, I sat over there in the, in the corner thinking and there's really not much other than pull-ups I can yeah. think of that's like really like specific from my world that are going to help you guys because so much of the stuff you do is so varied that, you know, is rock climbers are some of the few athletes I could look at that they don't really have to do too much outside their sport mm -hmm. to stay healthy and to you know like strength train and stuff like all the uh, auxiliary resistance exercises and stuff yep. you get a lot of rock, rock climbing yeah. but um and you've watched a lot of rock climbing just mm -hmm. i mean you've been to a lot of rock climbing gyms and you've seen a lot of rock climbers and yeah rock climbing so you know yeah how yeah. it looks like you know mm -hmm. so what do you think about those i, I, I look forward to try them out yeah yeah now you're retired, quote unquote. Yeah, quote unquote. Now, but uh, you know, I don't want you to get hurt. You haven't been hurt yet, you know. No. So some of these things, you know. It's gonna. You know, I used to, I used to have a saying um, when I was younger. It says if it, it was gonna happen by now, it would have happened already. And yeah. I'm referring to injuries. Yeah. I was wrong. It's not, it's not right because, you know, maybe something doesn't happen for 34 years that you've been training, and then something does happen you yeah. know something that you thought was going to happen already hurting yourself doing something yeah it can happen so you might as well figure out a way to fit some things in to protect yourself i have a lot of respect for rock climbers you guys uh, it's a super hard sport and it's super interesting you know me and tom on our channel uh juji and tom we do a lot of different sports and rock climbers are really different yeah <laughs> like it's it's really a different type of approach to training and stuff it's really cool but it's, it's freaking hard and i have a lot of respect for you guys yeah. thank you yeah god this is the moment you've all been waiting for okay. magnus's toes have they ever seen your toes before in a video i don't think so no god can you even put your fingers in between your toes no i have no chance <laughs> look uh can, you can't get your knuckles in between them no. oh my god you can't do it can no you? i can't do it i think you need to work on this yeah. That's your homework assignment. <laughs> well, if you, if you like feet, you came to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Does it hurt? Uh, yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. I'm surprised your feet don't look as bad as they can. Okay. With the amount of experience you have. Because those rock climbing shoes are not good for no, your feet, they're man. they're small. So, I know you guys don't wear socks with your rock climbing shoes. It's like a thing. Yeah. But you wear socks with uh, normal with shoes. With normal shoes, for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave you there.
All right. All right. Bye, Magnus. When I come back, I, ex I expect this place to be cleaned up. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah. See you later. And what are we going to film for your he channel? He needed a fluffer, did he? He, a he needs fluffer. a fluffer, yeah. Uh, we're taking this implement, which is technically the world's hardest grip implement. Oh, wow. See that? It's like a coin. It's incredible. Magnus just trying to cover up the hip hop music playing <laughs> for, to look at this stupid coin that we're going to lift up. Anton, what are you going to try? Uh, try to fail one more time. <laughs> Come on, Anton. Yeah, come on. Hey, Magnus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's it going? You want to demonstrate that one? Uh, yeah, I'm up for it. Oh man, you know you had the you had a lower foothold. Uh, I didn't even see it. Not this one, but it's hidden underneath yeah. the balls. Alright, well, <laughs> almost descent. Yeah, almost descent. How are you feeling today, Anton? Is amazing. the uh, YouTube life getting to you? All the yes, videos. Yes, it's, and... it's, it's amazing. It's amazing, colorful uh, life, non-stop at all. You like it's the great. Life. It's great. It's like. Not even close how it looks like, you know. <laughs> okay. Nice, come on, Eta. Be like you have a monster behind you. It was, it was supposed to be like a surprise, <laughs> that, but you ruined it. <laughs> can I, can I solve a problem? Yeah. I'll solve one problem. Okay. okay. I'll solve that V1 right there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you actually gonna do it with? Uh, with, with these shoes, with, with powerlifting shoes? shoes on? Yeah. Uh, careful with the elbow now. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Dang guys, <laughs> just don't tell Tom. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Come on, man. Where does it go? Yeah, left. Over here. Oh, left. Yeah, yeah. And you have foot ult on the left side now. My power looking shoes. Come this on, is JJ. not a V1, this is a V2. In those shoes, it is. Uh, yeah. Come on, let's go. Oh yeah, there's that flexibility. <laughs> yeah, come on, two more holes. That's why you wear rock climbing shoes, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, felt different, though. I want to do a shake. I already done this before, but I just like the feeling.
want to do some grip strength, man. Yeah. Do a real sport. <laughs> hey, man, did you ever do the thing with a wishbone where two people have one and they split it? And then one's bigger than the other, and the other's smaller, and then you make a wish, and whoever has the one that's the right size gets the wish true? No, I've done that. Okay. Should we do that? Do you have one? No, I, didn't, I wasn't going anywhere with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rambling. There's no punchline, Magnus. Not joke. <laughs> All right, Magnus, I gotta beat you at something. I think you beat me in this last time. No, I didn't. You didn't? Absolutely no, not did I beat you in this. But no. I'm gonna beat you right now. Isaac is the king, like weight, uh, body weight ratio, body weight yeah. ratio wise, he's, the, yeah. he's better than us. He did almost half of his body weight. That's true. So it's 45, is, 45 pounds. 45 pounds. You're gonna have to move back even more. That's okay. uh, 20 kilo. Yeah, I read right, This is usually pretty that, tough, that 45 on, pounds. It, actually, it is good, a good amount. Good. Oh God. Yeah, but I made this hub super, super gritty. Imagine if you had chalk whispered on it too. Oh God, yeah. Go, Isaac. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Today yeah. you're gonna do half your body weight. Isaac, was that easier Isaac. than the last time? A lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> Is that easier than? Come on, Isaac. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna be oh, better. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, nice. <laughs> All right, then my pitch is not good. But it just feels like your thumb is being jammed. Woo. Yeah. yeah. So not like this. Let me show you. Yeah, you can't do that, but you show them the method. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. You, you got it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get chalk for this though. How much is the grip texture helping? So far, I would say it's uh, helping uh, 10 or 15 percent. Oh wow. Yeah. That's a lot in grip. That's it. That's it. Yeah. There you go. See? Nice. You don't want to stand for it. So! Try it. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, you can do that. Go. Come on, sir. Come on. Come on. You know, that's close to the female world record, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Now you know what it feels like to lift. I guess we're expanding the grips for it one, yeah, one yeah, person yeah. at a time. <laughs> yeah, and stand closer to it. Perfect. That's it. Yeah, he's Very nice. nice. Like you've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Keep going, keep is, going. Come on, Max. Pros do speed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah. Me versus you again, yes. Magnus. Come on. Isaac, dig your freaking fingers into that thing. It's a lot more painful now, also because of the friction. You know, right. it doesn't slide just. It no. Like rips. Isaac, I watched this video of you, and I thought you were stronger in real life. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Rest a second. I know you can do this. I can't believe there's so many comments on the. Uh, there were so many comments on the video with Isaac in it about him being on steroids, dude. I don't. Yeah, kind of makes sense. I, so. I don't understand. I mean, yeah, it's like when he wears those types of shirts, I can really see it. Yeah. Okay. Your thumb back like yes, that. correct. Yeah, left one. foot. Yep, yep. Step forward. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay, okay. Rock climber's grip is stupid strong. Oh, there you go. See, don't doubt yourself. All right. Yeah, dude. This is how you added how much, John? We added 10 pounds. Oh, this is 65 pounds. Yeah. This is John's PR. Let's go. Lift it. Come on, John. It's legit. How, how much have you lifted? What's your PR? 66. 66? Yeah. 65? Yeah. But this is like super powered, huh? Yeah, it should be. It's grittier than usual. No. It's not chalk whispered though, that's one thing. Well, thanks for giving me an excuse, Tom. But yeah. I'm just not PRing right now. You got this, Magus. I can already say I hate you, Magus. Come on. You broke it. Why are you so strong that you break things? This happens every time to me, though. Yeah. Oh, no, Magnus. That's Sagnus Sitbo, dude. Yeah. Come on. Is that bad? No, it's that's different. What the hell? Whoa! Whoa! Do you... Was it right? Yes! <laughs> Was it right? Oh, show Tom this. Oh, dude! He's got that... He's got that small hand density, dude. Whoa, <laughs> dude! Look at that! 
my hand is nowhere as big. <laughs> dude, that's nuts. You honestly are lifting a lot of weight that's on That's a that. shit ton, dude. You wanna go up? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So oh, much. look at this. Dude, what in the... Yeah, go ahead, Jackson. Magnus, I, I can't focus on it because you're so... No, I got it. <laughs> wow, dude. That's not enjoyable. It's like every... It's every time like that. Gore warning, bro. How many times have I filmed Magnus bleeding? <laughs> oh! See, when you did that coin lift, I knew you were strong. At least you don't use the back of your thumb for climbing much, right? No, no, no. It doesn't... Mean it's not a problem for me. It's only this exercise. See, the second fastest. All right, five pounds? Five yeah, pounds? You should go up five pounds. Five pounds? So is that 70, right? 70 pounds, yeah. How much do you weigh? 150 pounds. Okay, that's good. Come on, Alex. Come on. Get that carabiner coming out. All right, uh, find it. Come on. Come on. Ooh, okay. Yeah, mate, come on. This is crazy. Come on, come on, come on! This is getting hard now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if that's doable. Well, you beat all of us. That's <laughs> Yeah. That's just only five pounds. Yeah. I can get this. Come on, Alan. Come on. Come on, Oh! Alright, Magnus, do you want to do grip tools anymore or do you want to go climb? I think I want to do some more climbing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop that stuff. You don't have to do it. I just, I just injured myself doing this stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Magnus, we don't need that. I know, I know. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try a different tactic. Come on. He's gonna try a different tactic. Okay. Magnus is gonna use blood. Ooh. <laughs> it's getting brutal looking. Yeah. This is like watching a deadlifter with a big shin bleed just continue to deadlift. <laughs> to stop. Okay, Magnus. Go climb, dude. Go I'll climb. go climb instead. Yeah. It's better. Right. It's better. Where can they buy the hub? Local car store. <laughs> car parts. Yeah. And he wanted to like ask you um, to write one down today, but he couldn't come. To write down a question yeah. for him or for who? Yeah. Uh, for his list. It can be literally any question that you can think of. Question, man. As long as it's a question. You um, get to think of a question. Yeah. Do think you want to know question? what our questions were? Do you make stupid faces in your bathroom mirror while washing your hands? <laughs> yep. That, that, that was Juji's. And then it's Tom's. How often do you yell in a day? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tom got a complaint from his neighbor today. So. <laughs> yeah. That's why he wrote, yeah, that's that's why I wrote that today. I love it. It's fresh. Yeah. What's, your, what's your question? I'll have to think about that one. Okay. Magnus, you found it. Yeah. What, what is your monthly chalk consumption? That's my question. Okay. Very, very interesting. Um, here, Anton, right, Anton, get in here. Get in here. Juji, get in here. There you go. Okay. Yeah. That was unfortunately the end of this trip uh, to North Carolina, but Anton and I will continue. And there are many more videos on, to on Tom and Juji's channel. It's now called Tom and Ju Juji, not Juji Mufu. Yeah, uh, I was just looking at this. Uh, what are you looking at? Yeah, the tr this. What? You gnomed Magnus's channel, dude? <laughs> That's bad, dude. Okay. Well, yeah. where are you going now? We're going to San Francisco. Yeah. What are we gonna? What are we gonna do there, uh, Tom? I wasn't ready for that question. <laughs> we will do Ninja Warrior. Probably we do indoor climbing, and I hope so that we will find some time for outdoor climbing as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well. Guess I'll see you again uh, sometime, right? <laughs> right? Right, Tom? Wow, this incredible energy, Magnus. Thanks for this enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs>